Welcome back to the Nightcap. We've been talking about cosplay, but we've got Balloon Josh in the building with a couple models. Balloon Josh, you have made two different cosplays on these beautiful models. What am I looking at here? Well, so I mean, I got into uh, making cosplays um, in like 2020 because of the pandemic and I had a lot of free time on my hands as a professional event entertainer. And I had a lot of friends who were cosplayers and they were like, hey, can you start making uh, balloon cosplays for us? And so over the past three years, I've made over 250 cosplays completely out of balloons. Um, and so what I like about it is that I can literally just make whatever, like if there's ever a character someone's been wanting to do, but they don't have the costume for it or can't afford it or can't find it, I can make it. You can so make it. Here All we right, have so Red Sonia. Red Sonia. If All you're right. familiar with like Conan the Barbarian, mm -hmm. you know, franchise. And, um, but we have Red Sonia and then we have Yuno from Future Diary. So an anime character. But again, and this one was kind of a last minute thing we just decided to do literally right before the show. So this one took a little bit longer because of the level of detail here. That one took about 30 minutes. So this one, because of the detail here, the front part took about 30 minutes, the back part took about 30 minutes, and then all of the rest of it combined. Wow. Took about, so this one took about an hour and a half to make all of the pieces and put it together. And are um, you like referencing like a, an image? Or yeah, normally I'll just look up brain? a picture. Like even these armbands are uninflated balloons braided wow. together. Um, but yeah, so uh, I mean, I'll just look at a picture of the character and then I can just kind of go from there. Um, and just try and replicate it as close as I can. Um, and like I said, this really costume you is a little more straightforward, this. doesn't have some of the same level of, level of detail and intricacy. So this one took about 30 minutes. To this make. took 30 minutes? Yep. Holy smokes. That's like no time. Yeah, when I how, showed up at the long? studio today, I did not know I was making that. So we literally just cranked that out out of nowhere. And so how long do these outfits last? As long as they want them to. So they're surprisingly durable. If part of it does pop, um, it's only the one part that pops. I don't have to replace the whole thing. Plus, that's also why I make sure the models are always fully covered, fully clothed underneath. So if something does pop, people aren't seeing what they're not supposed to see. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, so they can sit in them. They can run, jump, dance. They can do pretty much everything they could do in a normal cosplay, um, except for, I don't know, maybe hug you know, someone made out of nails. <laughs> All right, none of us here are made out of nails, but this is incredible <laughs> balloon, Josh. I am impressed. And ladies, you look fabulous.